Emerald Tablets of Thoth. This is Tablet 11, the key to the above and below. Let's look at spiritual attainment. I know we that of all, nothing else matters excepting the growth we can gain with our soul. No, we the flesh is fleeting. The things men count great are nothing to us. The thing nothing except the what we can gain within our soul, right? We seek are not of the body, but are only the perfected state of the soul. When ye as men can learn that nothing but progress of soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from all bondage, free to work in a harmony of law. My friends, this whole entire text, this 11th tablet, is about the above and below and knowing your place, okay? You must attain the perspective of what the hell is going on here, or else you'll be caught in the Maya and illusion, right? So the masters, they know that all things of the flesh are fleeting, right? And all they seek is the perfected state of the soul. And when they truly let go of all things that don't have to do with the progress and upliftment of the soul, right? Uh, overcoming trials and tests, ascertaining and, I guess, transmuting the law in which they are working on currently. We are all at a different place, a different frequency, if you want to call it, a different place in the cycles, right? And we're all seeking to elevate. Your life transforms once you stage of consciousness. So this stage of consciousness is surpassed. When, no. Uh, basically, you can, when you can comprehend that only the attainment and perfection of the soul is is what you seek, right? What distracts you during the day, all this earthly shit, it fades away into the background, right? It's almost like a, like a secondhand thing that you just need to get done. But all your focus and all your energy is going towards accomplishing that of your place, of your place in the great laws, right? Key. Sorry, that keeps turning off. Um, it's so key. So this is all about perspective and knowing your place. Oh man, ye should aim at perfection, for only thus can ye attain to the goal. Though ye should know that nothing is perfect, yet it should be thy aim and thy goal. Ceased again the voice of the nine, and into my consciousness the words had sunk. Now seek I ever more wisdom, that I may be perfect in law with the all. Wisdom is power, and power is wisdom. Never stop seeking. Let us understand the place of wisdom in this progression from material to spiritual. We have a spiritual body and we have a physical body. The common denominator, the common denominator that links them is the mind. Okay? And mind, logos, the intellectual and, I guess, intuitive mind, right? This vast quintessence. It comes from the creator. It comes from the above. Mind is all. All is mind, right? And right here, Thoth would tell you, all that is man is because of his wisdom. And all that he shall be is a result of his cause. My friends know that all is law. All is law, right? And it is your ability to, I guess, perceive this law and understand it. And live within it. That allows you to devolve, right? All is law. My friends, if you're fighting an uphill battle, right? If shit ain't going right. You're not, you're not understanding the law. I soon go I down to the halls of a men than common man. Lift thine eyes upward. Let light fill thy being. Be thou ever children of light. Only by effort shall ye grow upward. To the plane where light is the all of the all. One of the most major themes of the Emerald Tablets. Keep thine eyes ever turned towards the light. Lift thine eyes upward. Let light fill thy being. Right? Keep your eyes ever turned towards the spiritual realm. The, the man you are becoming. Lift thine eyes upward. Let light fill thy being. Be thou ever children of light. 
Now, this can be misinterpreted thousands and thousands of years ago. And he's not saying avoid your darkness. Right? But he's, he's saying bring everything you are with you. And become the light. Okay? Here we go. Master of all that surrounds thee. Never be mastered by the effects of thy life. Create. This is really important. Never be mastered by effects of the, thy life. Most everyone I talk to, they're almost like a passive taker of life. They're life's bitch. And, I mean, I'm life's bitch too. We all are, right? Until we can conquer that shit and put it in its place. I'm, the only difference is I'm making moves, right? Are you making moves? Do you have long-term visions and goals? Are, are you set out to conquer whatever binds you right now? My friends, don't be mastered by the effects of life. Seek to understand, then transmute. Seek to ever rise towards a perfected state. My friends, you are either rising or falling, evolving or devolving. And a lot of teachings like to teach that, you know, it's this infinite reincarnations. We're all immortal. Nah, you got to earn your immortality. You have to earn your divinity, right? Um, yeah, and humanity is in a falling state right now. So are you going to rise above? And ever more perfect causes, and in time shalt thou be a son of the light. Free, let thine soul soar ever upward, free from the bondage and feathers, feathers of night. Lift thine eyes to the sun in the sky space, for thee let it be a symbol of life. Know that thou art the great solar symbol, the symbol of the sun. The sun is the perfected state of man. The sun is the greatest symbol. And it holds all the mysteries within it. I could do an amazing mystery teaching on the sun state. But that is for another time. This was Reality Files or Immortal Truth Emerald Tablets of Thoth number 11. Key to the above and below. We're going to be diving into the Emerald Tablets in the mystery teachings. So make sure to sub up and let me know what you want to go deeper into. Peace out my friends. Ever seek the light. Ever seek to become one with the sun state. Know all is law, and wisdom is power. The power to move through the laws and ever move upward through the cycles. Master Thoth and Demetrius signing off.